Next, Mr. Dean will bring Mr. Dean Utoff, class of 1976, to the front. Dean Utoff never experienced a state or NCAA tournament during his high school and college playing days, but his remarkable accomplishments did eventually take him to a national stardom 9,000 miles away from Cedar Rapids. Jefferson has had some wonderful big men during the school's basketball history. Larry Baker and Tom Holland, already members of the Hall of Fame, were 6'8 players who performed at high levels. Mike Ivester, 6'9", was an All-Stater and later competed professionally. Utoff, nicknamed Man Mountain, was a different cat. At 6'11", he presented the Jayhawks a phenomenal inside presence in the early 1970s. He was a rebounding machine, highly effective scorer, and an above-average passer for a big man. Utoff was a starter for three seasons under coach Colin Williams. He completed his Jayhawk career as an all-time career rebounding leader and second all-time in career points. His 919 career rebounds remain a Metro record, and he is one of four Jefferson players in history to score 1,000 points. He scored 1,010. As an example of his domination, Utah posted these numbers on back-to-back -back nights in his senior season. 35 points and 25 rebounds against Dubuque Senior, followed by 33 and 12 against Davenport Central. I've never seen a kid his age, 17, who is so strong, Williams told the Cedar Rapids Gazette during Utah's senior campaign. He weighs 220 pounds now, and I think he could pick up another 10 or 15 pounds in college and not slow down at all. Dean averaged 22.2 points and 17.2 rebounds during his senior season as a Jayhawk and was named first team All-State. The state's prize recruits in 1976 among my bad. We're supposed to look at the screen. We found a photo. So another game at the line is Mr. Utoff. There is somebody else in this photo that is now here at Jefferson. If anybody can recognize who it might be. I'll give you a clue. It's a guy at the post, not for Jefferson, playing from Clinton. It would be our current principal, Mr. Chuck McDonald. There are lots of stories about who was better and who won, but we'll stick with the script at this point. Now I lost my spot. Here we go. Uh, the state's prize recruits in 1976 among inside players were Utah, Larry Osthorn of Pella, and Chuck Harmson, Harmison of Ames. Utah visited Purdue, Iowa, and Iowa State during his senior season, but the choice quickly became between the Hawkeyes and the Cyclones. Utah said he liked both programs but leaned toward Iowa. However, Coach Lute Olson and the Hawkeyes eventually decided to sign the 6'11 Osthorn. Utah landed with Lynn Nance's Cyclones. It didn't take long for Dean to make a mark in Ames. As a freshman in the ultra competitive Big 8 Conference, Utah averaged 11.5 points and 11 and a third rebounds while playing all 27 games in his freshman career. He played in every game his remaining three seasons and was a consistent contributor throughout. Utah finished his Cyclone career as the school's all-time leading rebounder with 1,233, swiping 22 boards in a game twice. His career averages were similar to his freshman numbers at 11.5 points and 11.4 rebounds. Taken in the sixth round of the 1980 NBA draft by San Antonio, Utah went to camp but did not make the Spurs squad. At the urging of former Iowa State teammate, Armisen, Dean went to play professionally in Australia, not knowing how long the stay would be. Partly because of his size and partly because of his skills, Utah became a national superstar in Australia. Playing principally for the Sydney Kings, Utah was a four-time All-Star in the National Basketball League and like high school and college, established himself as a dominant rebounder. Utah played 12 years in the NBL, scoring 3,755 points and grabbing 3,369 rebounds. He still holds four of the top six rebounding games in league history, including a record 34 against Hobart in 1984. He led the league in rebounding three times. Utah quickly embraced Australia and became a naturalized citizen in 1991. 
Ed Utoff, Dean's younger brother, who had a terrific basketball career in his own right, recounted this story on a visit to Australia in a story by Mike Haas of the Gazette. Anywhere we went, he was pretty much mobbed. He was on TV commercials. I thought, oh my God, you are a big star. Ed, who was on the Jefferson all-time scoring and rebounding charts, played collegiately at San Jose State. Jared Utoff, third cousin to Dean and Ed, was, Mr. was Iowa Mr. Basketball while playing at Jefferson. He completed his decorated collegiate career at Iowa, saw action in nine games with the Dallas Mavericks in 2016 and 17, and now plays professionally in Russia. According to Ed, Dean prefers to keep a humble and low profile in Australia despite his recognizability. Most recently, Dean has served as a specialist teacher in Sydney high schools. Dean and his wife Tracy live in Kenthurst, about a half hour northwest of Sydney. Presenting Dean's award is his basketball coach, Bob Becker, and accepting on Dean's behalf is his classmate and good friend, Al Wilson. <laughs> 